Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with CreatingWithAli.com and I'm going to be sharing with you three cards now that are going to be more for friendship. So um, I figure that by now we're pretty much done with the Christmas and so I decided to start doing more of the friendship cards and um, as we get ready um, since, like I said, the holidays pretty much are here and I don't think we're going to be making Christmas cards right now. Or maybe, who knows, maybe you are still doing some. But anyway, so I decided I was going to be using the In Bloom. Let me just show you here. The In Bloom bundle. I don't think, and I should have checked that, but I don't think this is a bundle anymore, meaning you have to purchase this separately. But this is one of my favorites. It came last occasions catalog or the January through June catalog from last year or actually from this year earlier this year I believe and so I just love it I love that the die set is all um it's called the Pierce Blooms and it's all a standalone dies meaning that you can do your own flowers just with these and use them as embellishments so definitely I love that and then of course you have the um a stamp set which love the sentiments but also you can be stamping some of that but i'll be honest for my cards i'm going to be pretty much using this one so you need to have this one and as usually um when you purchase with me using the host code and i have the host codes here in the description and also when you i flip the camera you'll see it in the table uh but when you use when you purchase with me using the host code you'll get the card kit to make the cards that i'm sure sharing today so anyway so let me see who's here hi kate thank you so much for sharing i really appreciate it it always helps me a lot when you share so thank you thank you hola gordita and let me see hi carol and so anyway so nice seeing you hi marianne so anyway so nice seeing you all here so um, before we start, as usual, I just have here quickly uh, a few things about card classes. So the next card classes that I have available right now is the, um, oh, what am I saying here? The monthly card club. And so this is the one that is going to be featuring the, uh, sweet talks, which is a new suite out of the new catalog. And so I just love that it's all about Valentine's and friendships. Definitely love the paper. I fell in love with the paper and of course it uses purple so I couldn't go wrong with that one. Um, there's also a little uh, treat box and so anyway so this this is my monthly card club where uh, when you sign up for that you um, it is a subscription so every month you'll get a different card kit it's $39 uh, you just need to go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club. I have here in the description of this video as well some information so you can go and check it out if you want to read more about it and subscribe. But when you stay with me for six months, you get an additional uh, $25 goodie bag. Now, every month you'll get the card kit and it has about $20 worth of goodies. Um, not to mention, of course, the videos and the video tutorials for the um for the projects that i share there so definitely it's a really good way to um keep crafting during the month and so if you're interested if you have any questions you can email me at ali at creatingwithali.com and like i said i do have a page that is called creatingwithali.com forward slash card club to get more information about that program um and then also the paper share so you know that with the new catalog we're going to have a uh, new paper and i am partnering again with uh, jennifer cotton and so we're doing again the paper share this is one of the most favorite uh, events that i have for my customers they all love it because we share how to use the designer series paper into projects and so i've just finished designing my first uh, the first four Jennifer is designing the other four. We just need to be also designing for a bonus project, but at least the four uh, projects are here. So I'm super excited. And um, like I said, you get a sampling for all the paper that we have there, um, the specialty paper and the designer series paper. And I do have options for you to get also the ribbon share. And um, so I know you're gonna love it. So the stamp sets that we're gonna be using for the paper share, cause I know I have some people asking me about that. It is the Dahlia's Days, which is this one. And uh, it is actually a bundle. So it comes with, with this one. And what I love about this one is that you have two dies of pretty much all the images, pretty much, not all, uh, but a lot of the images so that you can stamp and cut out uh, faster. So I just love that one. And then we're also going to be using the Celebrating You stamp set, which is all about 
uh, sentiment. So I just love it because it has it has birthdays, Easter's, uh, anniversary, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. So I thought it was a really good one to be honest. So definitely uh, very excited. But um, like I said, those are the two sets that we're going to be using in the paper share. So you need to have them. Of course, you can substitute it. You can see it's flowers and sentiments. So I feel like if you don't want to get those specific um, stamps, you could still take the class and use whatever you have. So anyway, so with that being said, let me share it with you um, what we have for today. Oh, and by the way, for Car Club, let me just show you also, because I don't think I've shared how that Sweet Conversation stamp set looks like. So um, it is this one. I just love everything about it. Um, I love all the hearts and I love the dies. The dies are really, really cute. We have a new tag and of course, you know, I love all the labels. You have a little banner. This one makes like a little envelope where you can put some of those hearts. And so definitely, 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 you're gonna fall in love with the um, bundle. So anyway, so with that being said, let me start flipping the camera so that we can um start our projects tonight so give me a second don't get don't get easy <laughs> all right so let me start making here where is the there we go all righty let me take this one out of the way and um here is the host ghost and like I said, these are the stamp set and the dice. And you can see, I actually love having doubles of those, um, mainly because I can cut them faster. But one thing I want to share with you, because um, the first time I didn't do this, is that I like now to add a little outline, especially for things like this where we have so many dice, right? Um, that way, when you are putting them back, you know exactly how they go. Now, I didn't do it on this one. This is my first one, and I didn't do it. But like as I was playing with this, I pretty much was able to recreate this one into that one. But I will be adding also the lines just because I thought this was really helpful. It also helps you to see if you're missing a die set, especially like with this one. Like I said, if you're missing one of these, um, it's easy for you to not remember, right? But if you have the line, you definitely know you're missing one die and you know exactly which ones you are that you're missing so definitely i love 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 doing that nowadays especially with die sets that have too many pieces or that they are too uh like too um too many that you don't know how they're going to be fitting because this one at the end of the day it looks kind of like a puzzle to make sure everything gets a stick together and it fits into this uh square so anyway oh hi pat and thanks so much for sharing so anyway so one tip there because um, I feel like that has been saving my life lately with um, with the dice. So anyway, so let me just bring here the cards that we're going to be using. Hold on, let me just move these ones. Oh, and I need the, the sentiments. Now, as far as sentiments, I thought I wanted to use that you are amazing. I thought it would be really nice. Um, you could also do the birthdays, but I thought you're amazing would be really nice to, to use. So let me bring this one and then um because i want to be using the memento i'm going to put it right now here but i'm not going to be using that i will be using the stamparados just because as you know my memento not always stamped that well and this is more of a solid image and so i figure that uh with the uh what am i saying with the stamparados i can go over and there will be no problem with that all right so card number one. Oh, oh and i'm already um flipping all these pieces hold on let me grab these for a second because uh this is for the next card not for this one here we go all right so we have this one so everything is gonna be black yellows and whites that's how i picture this one so um and like i said here is the host coat to use let me uh bring my um punch here and uh, I should have checked. I don't know. Is the detail trio still available? I think it is. If not, then you can use a circle punch to to do the um, round, right? Um, and if not, I'm sure you might have another of our past punches that do the rounds, uh, the corner rounds. So anyway, 
the round corn, I don't know how you call the rounder corns, I don't know. Anyway, so we have here a piece of uh, basic white, and this is two by two and three quarters. And first thing that we're gonna be doing is making a little banner. Now this banner, I'm gonna make it a little bit different. Like, you know, I've always used my, um, what is this called? My um, Taylor Tag Punch. But this one seems to be like, it will be like too deep. I want this one to be kind of smaller. And you'll see what I mean here in a second, if I can find a pencil. So what I want to do is just on these two, I want to put like a quarter, yeah, like a quarter of an inch, because I just want a little subtle piece. So this is a quarter and I want to put it at one. So I'm going to put a little dot. I'm going to cut from here, there, and there, okay? So first things as always, if you're using your scissors, you always want to be doing that, but you're going to go point to point. So I found that this one is easy. And then we're going to go this way. Now, like I said, I usually use use my um what am I saying here? The um detail punch, but in this case I wanted something that was not too and I don't know how to say that, but not like not too as a B, but a little bit more subtle. And then I'm going to be stamping, not stamping, uh cutting the um corners with the detail trio and let me know if this is still available because i should have checked those things but clearly i didn't all right so now we have this piece and see how it looks looks really nice right so anyway now that we have that i want to have my sentiment and let me bring this one for the stamparatus because like i said I feel like I will be needing these. So here's the Stamparatus. We're gonna be adding this one. Uh, I'm gonna be putting this one right here. Oh, actually no, hold on. No, I need to put this one here because it's a magnetic uh, thing. So, sorry, not a uh, photopolymer, not magnetic. So we need to put this one here and then the magnet. And then we're gonna bring our sentiment and I want it somewhere like in the top right like somewhere here now one thing here is um, make sure you have that corner so that it always there so as you are stamping you can position it exactly in the same place all right so I'm gonna bring the um, memento And like I said, I do this because uh, sometimes I don't get a really nice crisp black. So I want to make sure that I have a black sentiment. See, I feel like it is not so okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Now, if your memento is juicy and you get it right the first time, then you don't need to be doing this. But for myself, I find that I have to be doing this every single time with a, especially if it is like a bold uh, sentiment or image, right? Like in this case. Oh, much better. See, it looks really nice. Dark, dark, dark. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and use this one. We're going to come back to this one later. Uh, also, if you are stamping uh, color cardstock, you also want to be using your Stamparatus. But see how it looks. So anyway, so like I said, I've already die cut lots of these. Um, and I actually cut out even more. So I'm just using a few of the ones that I that I have. But so you can see all the little pieces. And I've used Daffodil Delight, uh, Old Oli for the leaves. And then Basic White for the um, flowers, okay? Now, um, as far as these pieces, let me just give you measurements. So I believe this one is 3 by 3 Let's just see. Yeah, this is a square that is three by three. And then this one is three and one eighth by three and one eighth. Um, for this one, um, I have here that is three and one eighth by one and one quarter. And so this one is one and one eighth by three. Now this paper, you might be asking, where is this paper from, right? And so this one is part of the um, pattern place. Hold on, what is the name? Yeah, pa no, pattern 
party, not play. Designer series paper. And so this is the, the designer series paper that you get as part of the host benefit. So um, you get host benefits when you place an order of $150. But you can see this one has lots of different uh, papers. It is a big pack, as you can see. But what is really cool is that one side has... Oh my gosh. I should be doing this differently but anyway but one side has colors and the other side it's all black and white so it's a really good one and i've been using mainly the black and white it seems like but i also like the color side <laughs> but for whatever reason i feel like the black and white is so easy to use because um you just put a black cardstock and then you just put accent colors and you're pretty much done so um definitely that's one of my favorites oh hi lean how are you so anyway, um, so let's just start putting everything together. And so let's just go ahead and put this one here. Okay. And I think that it will look really nice as well. I, I've done so many cards with the Polish paint black and white. Um, so if you don't like yellow, you can also change, um, your accent color for pink. Um, you might still want to use, uh, yellow for some of the centers, but, um, I'm sure you can be adding some of these pieces with the Polish pink and also look really, really nice. In fact, I think I have a card. I might have a card here, uh, with those. Oh, here. See, I'm going to share one card here. See what I'm saying? It's always so easy to use the uh, Polish pink as your uh, accent. So anyway, like I said, I love using um, this side a lot. Now, as far as my card base, my card base is uh, basic black. And it is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm going to have this. And so we're going to be putting this one like so. I have this one, maybe like this. And then we're gonna be adding this one right here. And then this one right here, see? Maybe more towards this section, yeah. So let's go ahead and put this one. And then we're going to be adding this one right here. So super, super easy. Not too complicated. And I would just spend a few minutes to die cut as many of the flowers because then it's just a matter of playing with the different layouts as you're going to see here with my cards. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to be putting... I think this one does better, right? With the lighting, I think it will help. Hopefully. And so as far as these flowers, uh, I'm going to be using glue dots. Uh, oh. To put right in the center. And then... I'm going to be adding this ones as well with glue dots, so let's just add them. All right, so the way I picture these ones, let me add um, those with like one dimensional. So the way I was picturing this is having this one and then that one right here. Maybe have um, like this one. Something like that. Have this one something like here and then have this ones there, right? So something like that. So let me add first this one. This one will be flat. Um. 
All righty. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, glue dots. I found this is easier with just one glue dot on each of these. Then trying to be adding the that hsf and so i'm just going to go ahead and add that one and then like i said we're going to go ahead and add one here one there and one here see and then for the centers i'm going to go ahead and bring the um this one so okay so i'm going to be opening a new one too because i want some of the small ones you could also be changing um the centers as well with any other of the jewels you have um you might have have and by the way when you place a 50 dollar order you get a um, pack of the gilded gems this is one of my favorites i think i've been using them lately a lot in a lot of my cards so um i just love them okay so let's just see so now for this one we're gonna bring the take your pick oh take your tool is that right no take your pick i think it is and see how once you put that center it just changes everything right um then for this one we're gonna go ahead and use one of these ones and actually i feel like it looks really nice like so i don't know that i want to be adding the small ones oh actually they look nice don't you think they actually look nice so i'm gonna go ahead and add some of those too like I said, I love using gems in my cards. I feel like it makes them look even nicer. I actually do like how they look. There you go, and see? See how beautiful this looks and super easy, right? And then I don't know that, I, that it needs a bow, but I thought about the gingham just because it's black and white, right? And this is like say gingham ribbon in the black and white. So let's just do a bow and see if we like it. I feel like these might look good. And then the one thing, if, if you want to be coloring this one, you can also add your um, blends and then color them to different colors. But let's see. It actually looks nice, don't you think? Yeah, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. And this is one of the holiday uh, it's not holiday, but holiday items um, or the December, uh, July through December catalog that will be available um, in the new catalog as well, like in the annual catalog. So that's amazing because I love this one a lot. This was one of my favorites as well as the shimmer, um, gold shimmer or shimmer gold. I don't know the name. <laughs> um, that was one of my favorites. It was so, uh, it was some back order so much in I'm excited to hear that it's going to be available. Let me just see. We're putting it like so. And here we go. What do you think? Really nice, right? And very, very easy. All right, so let's go with card number two. So for our card number two, I have this, okay? And same, you can see if I've already pre... Um, yeah, I think I'm missing one of the yellow leaves or yellow. Yeah. Uh, what did it, what did that happen? Well, maybe we just need one. I don't know what I did. Oh, here. Just like, uh, like I know everything was here. All right, so, um, all right. So for this one, same as with the other ones, I already have everything that I cut. And like I said, that's just the best part of it. You just go ahead and die cut as many as you can and then just play with the layout. Now, this one is also black, uh, my card base. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold this one in half. And then I have um, three pieces that are exactly the same. And this one, if I remember, are one and one quarter. Yeah, by um, five and one quarter, okay? So these ones are going to go right here. Now, the best part is um, to put the um, the ones on the edges first and then the one in the middle. That way you kind of have everything centered nicely. So when you're doing things like that, uh, always go first with the outside and then the inside. That always helps to have everything centered. 
And let me know if you have any questions. I don't really see. Oh, hi, Betsy. <laughs> Becky, glad you're liking it. Hi, Sandy. Yeah, I think, okay, I'm seeing some of the, your comments. Um, hi, Kathy. Hi, Vicky. So anyway, so let's go ahead and um, start putting this. And again, this paper is also from the same uh, pattern party design series paper, which again, you get as a host benefit. And I believe it's like $18 um, and you get a lot of paper. You really do. What? Oh, here. It's like, what happened to the, to the um, seal? Like, you know, I'm always losing everything here. And of course, today is no exception. There we go. All right. So. We're going to go ahead and do the edges, like I said. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and do the next one. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and do the next one. I'm going to put this section here. And see how you can kind of see how you want to line them up, right? See that? So it kind of looks nice and even, right? It might not be all even, but it looks like it is. <laughs> <laughs> so all right and then i have a circle um cut you can cut this with the layering circles now this one is about three three and a half uh -huh, um circle and then i have on this one um a, just a scrap of paper mainly because i want to stamp the sentiment and then like uh, not like cut it but then cut it out let me get the stamp writers again Hmm, what did I do with it? I mean, it was here. Oh, here. I was like, it was here. I know it was here. So we're going to be doing exactly the same. And I don't want it to be. Huh. There you go. All right, so I can just put this one here. There we go, just line it up. Yep. And we're gonna be cutting some of that. It, like I said, it's just a scrap. Uh, same thing as with the other one, we're gonna be using the uh, Memento. And again, I'm using the stamp product just to make sure I have a really black, crisp sentiment. No, it's looking good, but I don't know. Some areas look a little bit not so great. And so this is what I love about the Samparado is that you can stamp it again. And as long as you move your mat or the paper, right, everything should be okay. All right, so now... We're gonna put this one again here. We're gonna be using next. Oh, what did I do with the sentiment? What happened to the sentiment? Huh, what did I do with the sentiment? <laughs> Seriously, what happened? Oh, here, I never took it off. <laughs> I'm like, what happened with the sentiment? All right, so now we're gonna be cutting this one and I'm just gonna bring um, my trimmer. All right, and so we're gonna be moving this one here. Yep, and then we just need to do the little B. I don't know, do I want to cut it a little bit more? Maybe. Yeah, just to make it nicer. Cannot be. 
If I don't like it, then I can't. No, it looks good. I like it. Um, alrighty. And then we're going to be using this one. All right. So now, same as with the other one, we're just going to be playing with these. And see, I just put this one here. I might need to cut a little bit more on that one. It feels like too long. Hmm. There you go. There we go. Yep, that way I have it here. And then we're gonna be putting this together as well. So let's just bring our glue dots again. Where's the glue dots? Where are the glue dots? Oh, here, there were. They? All right, so on these ones, hi, Don, and say hello to Lenny. <laughs> All right, so now we have this one and that one. And so these ones, I thought it would be nice to have them like so. Hmm. There you go. And then have the little one right there in the center. Hi, Sale, how are you? Oh, Sarah, don't worry. Don't worry if you're late. Um, like I said, there's always a replay, so you can see whatever we've done. This is the second car, so you've not, you've not missed too much. All right, so we have those two. And then we have this one on the large one. And like I said, the best thing on this one is just die cut as many of these. Um, what I did is I cut out all the little ones in the yellow and then the larger one in the and the daffodil delight. All the leaves were on um, old olive. All right, so let's just see here before we glue anything. So the way I was picturing here is have that one here and there, right? And then have like these, and then these little ones, right? And then have that one right there. And then maybe have like this ones here. I don't know that I like this ones to be honest. Well, they look kind of nice too. So I'll. Yeah, I think it looks nice, right? So, okay. So first thing first is I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere this one to the vellum. Because that way I know where to put uh, adhesive on the vellum, right? Um, you don't want to be putting adhesive on the um, vellum itself, right? Oh, and you know what would it be nice? Why don't we put um, dimensionals? Oh, maybe that looks nicer. Let's see. Yeah, I think dimensionals will be nicer with the vellum. Oh, hi, Jan. Glad you're liking it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put it like so. Yeah, you can definitely see that circle. Um, I think that when it was flat, you didn't really see it, but now you can really see that circle with the vellum. So I like how it looks. And then, like I said, we're gonna be adding this ones. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, same as with the other ones, we're gonna go ahead and add just the one dimensional. Flowers is where I don't really add as many dimensionals, mainly because I want to have room to be able to be adding the petal, the, not the petal, the leaves. So um, 
Uh, um, flowers. I don't. I don't end up putting as many. Um, dimensionals as I do for like the labels, you know, because in labels I go crazy with the dimensionals. There we go. All right, and then this one's we're gonna be adding them like right here, right? So let's just add first the large one and see. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. And let me see, cause I think I have more somewhere here. I had some. Let's see, like I said, I cut out like a gazillion of these. <laughs> I feel like I like this one better. Yeah. I'm going to go with this one instead of that one. And then I can be adding this one right here. And then this one right here. And then I might just put this one. Oh, yes, definitely. Much better. And... Like I said, I like adding them um, visually just to see if I like them that way, then I can glue them. And if I don't, then I just need to uh, light them up differently. So see, what do you think? I think like this layout looks nice that way. So I'm going to go with this. So same as with the other ones, we're going to go ahead and use the glue dots. And if you don't like it, you can always change, right? Like you can just layer the leaves and see how you like it until you're happy with them. Like this one, I could probably go this way. And you kind of have to be Careful with this ones. You don't want to be ripping them off. So I use three on those, right? Like one here, one there, and one there. Oh my goodness. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and add that one first. <laughs> so the leaves um sarah came from the in bloom bundle so let me just share it here with you so it is in bloom this is a stamp set and this is the pierce blooms yeah pierce bloom dies um i don't think it's a bundle anymore i think that now you have to buy them separately but um this is super cute because, like I said, you get so many flowers and so many leaves. So definitely super great. I actually have two of those because um, when I die cut, I wanted to die cut so many of them so that I can just play it with a different layout um, as you're seeing here. So, so yeah. All right. So now for these ones, these ones are easy to add. Just uh, Right. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add the um, centers of our flowers. Where is the tiger pig? Oh my gosh! Oh here. I was like, where is that? So we're gonna go ahead and add one of the large ones here, and then again the little ones. <clears throat> And you can put any sort of gem that you have here, right? I'm using the Gilded Gems because that's one of my favorites. But, of course, you can put the, um, the Holiday Rhinestones as well for the center. So if you want to have some color. So, definitely lots of options. And we have a new one. Let me just show you here. This is coming up in the new catalog. It's called the Iridescence. And, oh my goodness, I'm just in love with this one. You can see I've been using them in a lot of my samples. And this is the one that you will get... Um, on the paper party, um, by the way, as a bonus or as a gift. I just love how it looks. I don't know that you can see, but see how beautiful it looks? So definitely, oh, I think you look better this way. 
See that? They're really beautiful. So, uh, coming in January, I'm sure we're going to be using that one a lot. <laughs> and then we're going to be doing a bow and see if we want it there. Oh. And see, we can be adding this one like so. See that? Yeah, I think it looks nice. So, let's just go. I might just need a little one. I don't want it to be as large. Always make your bows from this pool. I feel like you waste so little of your uh, ribbon that way. I don't, I don't, I almost never go by, oh, let's just cut a 12 inch piece and make a bow. Because I don't even know how much I really use, but I feel like that way I don't really um, waste too much of my ribbon. So here you have it. How would you think? Do you like it? So this is card number two. Here's card number one. Different layouts. Again, just playing with the different uh, flowers. Yeah, the gems are really nice, right, Sarah? All right, so now card number three. Again, in the black and white. So you can see I'm using the different patterns. All of the patterns come from the same um, party. What did I say? The pattern party. Now, this label came from um, from the same um, Pierce Bloom. So it is this one. I cut it out in the Daffodil Delight, right? And we're going to be doing the same. We're going to be stamping the You're Amazing. I thought that that sentiment is really nice for right now. Really good. And so this is another card that is going to be super, super easy. All right. So now for this one, we have eight and a half by five and a half. Let's just... Then um, we have a piece that is four by five and one quarter. Is that right? Yeah, four by five and one quarter. So we're going to go ahead and glue this one like so. Then I have a piece that is, uh, this is basic black, and this one is two and one quarter by four. And a piece of this signature paper, again, different pattern, right? Uh, from the same pack, and this is two by three and three quarters. We're going to go ahead and put it here. Okay, let me just do that. Let's just do that. Oh, and then, of course, you can see here the leaves and the flowers that I'm using for this car. So, um, let's just go ahead and glue these pieces. Alrighty, then we're going to be using this one. And then we're going to bring our trimmer. And we're just going to cut, like, let's just do, I don't know. I think like one and three quarters is not right at half, right? So it's just a little bit different. So I'm just going to go with one and three quarters. And we're going to be gluing this this way. I want, I actually want this section, no, this section here. And then this section here. See, so I have a little gap. So super easy, right? And then I'm going to be bringing here my label, which, where is the label again? Well, I have another label here, but where is the label? Oh, here. Where is the label? There you have it. So we're going to be putting this one right here, the label here, and then the flowers there. Although, I don't know, maybe I like it the other way. Let's see. Let's just review this again. Because I want one on this side and one. On, yep. Yeah, I'm going to go with this for right now. Well, let's just stamp first the sentiment and let's just go back with that. Okay. Um, so same thing with this. Now this one is going to be a little bit trickier because I want it to be right in the center. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I feel like I got it there. Now, this one, I might need to tape it with washi tape. Because I don't know that it will... Well, no, I can probably use the magnet. Let's just see. Let's just see. Yeah. I have the other magnet here. I have to be very careful with this magnet. Let's see. It looks kind of in the center, right? I feel. I might need to move it a little bit up. Just a little bit. Yeah, much better. I like this better. Okay, so now wash the tape. Let's see if I can do it this way. Now you gotta be careful with your magnets because um, they can break if they get together. Now that's the reason why I have some of these tape on those so that I can pull them apart. But uh, you gotta be careful because they're very strong and they can break apart. Oh, let's see. There we go. So we're gonna go again with another one. Yes, looks good. Um, now on this one, I was kind of messy, so let me see. Um, the chamois is definitely the best thing to clean this one. I do like to clean the plate immediately, especially if I went outside the plate. I just said it doesn't get a stain. Mm. All right, so now. I like to put one right away here in the back so that they don't get together. And then let's just take this one apart. All right, so now we have these. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and, yeah. Oh. And we're gonna go ahead and put it right on the corner. Hi, Carol. And then same thing with this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add this one right here. Now I'm gonna be adding um, dimensionals. So let's just add three dimensionals. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right here. Now this one and that one. Oh, where are the glue dots again? Hmm. Oh, here. I'm like, where are my glue dots? So we're going to be adding this one to the center. And then this one here. And then we're going to be adding this one here. Oh, I didn't. So, oh my goodness. Well, let's just hold on right now there. I'm going to take this one just for the sake of knowing or seeing how this one looks. Because <laughs> I just went ahead and started putting all the stickers, but didn't really... Ooh, maybe I want this one. No, I do want that one here. And then I want that one right here. This one, I like. This one, I'm not so sure about this one. Maybe I need to change to 
the small ones. I think I like the small ones better than the large ones. So I'm going to go with the small. All right, so now that I know. Okay, so I have this one here. How do I want that one? Wait, how was this? Like so, oh, but it's going out. So I have to change this a little bit. Uh, hold on. I feel like I need to put first this one. And then, there you go. That way, it's kind of over that. So let's put this one first, and then the flower. Ooh, I might have glued those, hold on. All right, let's get the other. All right, so then we get those. There we go. And then a dimensional here. Oh. There we go. Oof. All right, so now we need a bow and the gems. How about that? And like I said, you can be making this one in any of the different um, colors, right? Like I picked yellow, but you could easily do pinks or I thought even on purples too. I love purple. I don't know why I didn't pick purple, but yeah, you could do also purple. There you go. This one nice looks nice. <clears throat> there you go. We have that one. And then the gem. So let's just see this. On this one, we're gonna be using this. Um, let me see, do I want that one? Yeah, looks nicer. There we go. All right, so here we go. Super easy, all three of them. Let me take this one out of the way. Um, so let me know which ones are your favorite. And like I said, you can, you see here, I just, I cut a lot of them. I didn't use all of them. Um, so I can be making even more cards and just play with the different layouts. But let me know which one is your favorite. Again, when you purchase with me using the host code, you'll get the card kit to make these cards. And um, also, like I mentioned, here is another sample using a different um, color combination, right? You can see here the Polish paint. Like, so you can be using those for different accents. Um, and so in this case, I went with uh, black and white and yellow, but definitely you can be changing this to a different other color that you might want. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, make sure you are on the mailing list if you want to be getting information about those card classes coming up. Um, and like I said, the paper share is open for registration. Uh, last day to sign up, I believe is the... Oh, I think it's a 12. Although the sooner you sign up for that one, the better, especially now that we are not going to be able to have back orders and anything like that. So we're going to be placing an order on January 4th, which is when the new catalog uh, is released so that we can get as many of the paper for the people who had already signed up. So make sure you sign up right away. And again, you can find my email um, or 
where to sign up here in the description of this video. I think it says something like bit.ly uh, forward slash stay in contact with Ali. Uh, so you make sure you're on that mailing list so that you get all the information for the upcoming classes. So anyway, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, Merry Christmas because um, I know it's going to be this week. So hopefully you're done with your Christmas projects. You have mailed all your cards and I wish you all the best and I'll see you next week. All right. So thank you. Have a good week. <laughs> Bye for now.